So one of the things that subhanAllah I would like to inform you that one lady, she passed away. And now this is the Shaykh, he's narrating his story. He is the one who witnessed and he is the one who was in the graveyard. He said that, you know, from the beginning, from the beginning, the, the situation was not well. You know, I can see the situation is not well. While giving the ghusl, the face is, is you know, I can, I can realize because, you know, he, he is going through experience of 30 years and smell from the other side and all the other signs. He said, okay, till here I can, I can ignore and I, I can just say, okay, maybe, maybe it's, it's just a smell coming out of the body and dead body and also ever. He said, until they took the body into that bed, you know, and they carried the bed until the graveyard or until the grave, you know. Uh, the Shaykh saying, in the graveyard, we were more than like, we, we are a big in number. The number can flip the whole car, you know. We want many in number in, in the graveyard. Now we want to carry this woman and put her inside the graveyard or the grave, and she is not moving. The five, six brothers are trying to, you know, pull this lady, she is not moving. Another four or five brothers coming and trying to hold this body and she is not moving. And that's why the Shaykh said, you know, our number was enough to flip the whole car. But this body with, you know, you know small size and small body, she is not moving from her, you know, that, that uh, uh, bed. So what's wrong? And, and he did his best. That body is not moving from that bed. And now he said, I went through all these fiqhi issues and all these books. There is nothing like that. Okay, we know if, if it's bleeding, you do this. If it's broken, you do this. If you have body chopped into many pieces, what you will do, how you will go, do ghusl and bath and everything. But we, I never ever come across with this kind of situation, you know. So I have to call one of the mashayikh. And the situation was really bad. Even though he's, he was saying before calling the shaykh, he was standing in between the grave. So one, one feet is here and the other feet is here. The, the, the hole is in, in between his legs, so he can at least help. But the thing is, the body is not moving. So at the end, he when he when he gave up, he said, let me call one of the mashayikh and ask what to do. So he called one of the mashayikh, and he just fast in a, in a very fast way. He said, this is the scenario, what should I do? I don't know what to do. So the sheikh said, well, keep reading, start reading the Quran. Also. So he said, well, according to my experience, the, the, the dead person will not hear, you know, so why, why I have to read? He said, just read, you know, I cannot, even I cannot give you any answer, just read, read that. So he said, okay, I came back to the dead body and I started reading randomly, some from the Surah Yasin, some from Surah Al-Qaf, some, you know, verses from here and some verses from here. And the first thing, of course, you take the person into the grave is the legs. So I saw the people are able to lift one leg only, imagine. People are lifting only, lifting one leg. So he said, Alhamdulillah, at least, you know, something better than nothing. So he said, keep reading and reading and reading. And three of, of the sons of, of this lady, they carry the body inside the, you know, inside the grave. And he is still reading. He said, something happened. Someone called me. Someone, I think, you know, he just dragged me at the back or something like that. I stopped my qira'ah. I stopped my reading. He said, out of sudden, I just saw that three sons went inside the grave. They just fell down because again the body became very heavy they couldn't handle it so that you know they fell down the body fell down and the body you know hit the grave and you know so he said what happened why are you doing this to your mother he said wallahi we don't know she just out of sudden she becomes so heavy you know we cannot carry her so he said anyways i went inside the grave and i said telling them okay and i started reading and i'm just you know I, i'm not stopping reading i'm just pointing do this do this lift this and do this and he said um as a man as an ajnabi, as a, as a stranger, I cannot touch her because there is mahram, there is sons and, and you know, uh, the relative of, of this lady, so I cannot touch her unless, you know, she is completely uh, alone. So I'm just telling and giving the advices what to do and what not to do. And one of the sons, he's crying, crying, continuously crying. So the Shaykh said, you know, what's wrong? You know, what's wrong? He said, Shaykh, Shaykh, Allah, you know, may, may Allah, may Allah save you. Don't say anything. Just, you know, 
protect you know, or what you call it, like you know ala ummi means like you know just just make sit up, just protect and don't say anything about my mother to anyone. He said, I, I didn't see anything, you know. What you talking about? He said, that's it, that's it, Sheikh. I'm just telling you, please protect the name of my mother at least. The Sheikh couldn't understand anything. And then the Sheikh wants to come up and uh, before coming up from the grave, the son said, may I see my mother's face? The Sheikh said, okay, let me come up. Let me come out of the grave. And you see your mother's face. I cannot, you know, see. So he came, the Sheikh came out. And then the son saw the face. He came out as well, crying a lot, and made the deafen and everything. And the son actually, he promised the sheikh while they were in the grave that I will tell you, but don't say anything to people. I will tell you later on once we are, you know, we are outside the grave. So once it's done and the son is crying, he took him into the side. The sheikh said, you know, what's wrong? Why are you crying? And he said, no, no, I will not tell you. He said, you promised me. You promised me you will tell me. He said, no, I cannot tell you, Sheikh. He said, why you, you know, you promised me and you have to fulfill your promise. He said, I have to just tell you one thing. That the woman that we just buried, she is not my mom. She was not my mom. The Sheikh said, I have the paper. I have the paper, it's your mother and this is her name and this and that. He said, Wallahi, Sheikh, I swear by Allah, when you gave her ghusl, I was there. When you gave her the bath, I was there. Her face was white, you know. And wallahi, what I saw just now, it was a coal, it was a black stone. And she was not my mom. And he's crying, and he's crying. The Sheikh said, okay, tell me, what, what's wrong? He said, no, I cannot tell you, Sheikh, and he left. End of the story. Now the Sheikh saying, after a few months, Qaddar Allah, that it was Allah's will that, you know, I prayed again janazah in my graveyard. And a man came to me with a long beard, wearing petra, and there is a spot on, of sajda on his, on his forehead. And he said, Sheikh, do you remember me? So he said, no, please remind me, I don't know who you are. He said, do you remember a few months ago, you know, there was a lady refusing going inside the graveyard, uh, grave and, and you know, on, on, the, on the sun. So he said, okay, I think he was before different than now. He said, yes, Alhamdulillah, I made a toba and, and uh, you know, I'm changed. So he said, then why you, why you left? Why you just run away without telling me? You gave me a promise and you have to fulfill your promise. So he said, I will give you now what exactly happened and I will tell you right now. The Sheikh said, what happened? He said, my mother in her whole life, she never ever prayed in her whole life. She never prayed in her whole life. That was the reason that she is refusing to go, you know, and even now it's a dead body, but the body is refusing to go inside the grave, you know. And when I saw that, I was crying. And then at the end, when I saw the last thing, which is opening her face and uh, the cover on her face and see, it's completely black. She is not my mother. And I was more depressed and I was more, you know, scared. And this is what happened with me. So this is one of the stories that the Sheikh mentioned. He said, now look, just because she didn't pray for life and she was lazy to, to go and, and get up for prayers, this is what happened. And people saw and witnessed that, that the body was refusing to go inside the grave.